our most frequently asked questions is around leasehold agreements, ground rent and service charge. Now, what we encourage all our advisors to do is get as much information from the client as humanly possible or even the management company beforehand so that we can fully review it before the case goes to application. There are different uh, criteria points on our different products and I will run through them now. However, the best thing to do is get in touch with your sales team with the information and we can give you an idea of which product will accept what. Um, so just as an overview, on our heritage range, we will accept any lease agreements of 120 years or more. The service charge and round, ground rent combined can be no more than 1.5% of the property value. And if there is any onerous escalation of the ground rent, that is fully unacceptable and we would decline the case. And when I say onerous escalation, anything above the RPI. On Classic, our minimum lease term remaining um, depends on the applicant's age. So if your client is 55 to 60, we need the lease to be 125, and that's on a sliding scale all the way up to the age of 81 and over, where we would need the lease to be at least 100 years. When it comes to ground rent and service charge, the service charge on the property must be no more than £1,500 or £2,500 inside London, um, and that's on our classic range. And if the property is both freehold and leasehold, we do not require the lease to be resolved, but we will require our charge to be placed over both titles. And finally, on our sovereign range, the age of the youngest applicant plus the lease term must be 185 years or more. And the, for the ground rent and service charge, the ground rent must be no more than 0.1% of the value of the property and the service charge must be no more than 1.5% of the property value. So I hope that gives you a nice overview. But as I said, if you have any properties um, that are leasehold, please get in touch. Thanks. Thank you.